UTEP has struggled to find success recently in its own tournament. The Miners haven't won the Sun Bowl Invitational since 2014, but it is, of course, a new era of UTEP hoops under Rodney Terry. So as they open the 57th annual tournament against Norfolk State tonight, they were looking to buck that trend. The Miners also looking to get back to 500 in this one, sitting at 4-5 and five entering the day. Paul Thomas early on, the bucket and the foul for UTEP that got them back within three points. Evan Gilliard back from injury. He missed Sunday. Today's game, he's going to knock down the triple right there to tie things up at 17 apiece. But Mastati Pitt was feeling himself all ball game. Knocks down the three right there. The Spartans led by six points at halftime. Second half, Chris Ford down with the sickness. Throws it down. Norfolk takes the 10-point lead right there. But UTEP not going away. FEODG, two of his 18 points right there. Also had six rebounds. And then Gilliard, the pull-up jumper. He had 20 points off the bench, but then the Spartans stretch the lead back out. C.J. Kelly going to drop in a three from the corner, and then it is Pitt one more time. Uh, you're just going to let me pull up. I'll do it with my ceiling missing. Yeah, 15-point lead right there. He had 24 points. UTEP falls 75-62 to as the Spartans outplayed them in the second half. It's really hard for me to say that they outcompeted us for 40 minutes tonight, and they did, you know, and, uh, um, you know, a lot of times you can you can live with, uh, with the loss, but... Uh, but, but in terms of effort and, and competing and working the game, um, you know, they, uh, they did that tonight. You know, they did it for 40 minutes. And, you know, their, their experience, you know, really kind of uh, uh, showed, especially in, in key stretches during the game. That Sun Bowl Invitational Championship drought will continue. UTEP plays for third place on Saturday. So who will they play? Well, the early game was between East Tennessee State and Wyoming as they battled it out early on. East Tennessee State would just get rolling. Bo Hodges inside to Jeremy Rodriguez for two. And then Davion Williamson, watch this, hit the brakes. Uh, they'll fly right by. He'll lay it up and in for two points. They started this game on a 24 to one run. They held Wyoming to one of 26 shooting in the first half. They get the 76-53 victory. So it'll be ETSU versus Norfolk State in the championship game. UTEP plays Wyoming at 5 p.m. on Saturday.